Alright, so Broadway Legend Elena for the PC 9898 series of computers. I, so, uh, this is one of the games I've got from Project Egg. I have uh, another video out there about pretty much a little bit about what Project Egg is and as far as getting on there. These are legitimately produced emulations of old uh, mid 90s Japanese games. Um, I know nothing about this, it's by Compile. Uh, who are known for the Poyo Poyo series of games. Uh, Dr. Robotnik's Mean Bean Machine on the Genesis. Uh, emulation is... You can even just playing it, it sounds like it's somehow off. I've never played it before, but it just feels like it's dropping frames, or... Uh, my computer's no slot, so it should be happening. But uh, we're going to go ahead and see what this game's about. Uh, I have the English instructions on the uh, opposite screen. Uh, legend that a girl who want to get a chance with her dance be cool uh, and the instructions tell me there's three modes uh, first one is I guess more or less endless uh, last one is the option and the middle one is uh, something else doesn't matter so let's have a look here I, I, I really don't know anything about this game uh, other than I paid 548 yen for it which at today's rates is about you know, five bucks and change uh, Street Fighter world map. I'm gonna sort of enter through the dialogue. Unfortunately, I don't speak Japanese or, or really even read it. Uh, the primary point of Project Egg, at least this is supposed to be the English store, um, where my understanding was the games would be in English, uh, and, and they're not. Uh, not even the emulator is in English, and the emulator is not running well at all. We're gonna sort of uh, skip through here. I don't really have much open that might be interfering with this. I have a text editor just that has the... Oh! that's This can't be good. Alright. Okay, so left. Alright. So left. Up. Okay, it's, it's fucking Simon. Oh, good. I just paid... Call it six dollars for Simon. Bearing in mind that I also had to pay five dollars to sign up for Project Day. Ah, uh, graphics look nice. Um, music is might be good, but it, this 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 emulator I don't know what it is, but it's not not running great. I might uh, stop and circle back or see if there's anything I do to make this better. Let's see. Hold on. All right, so I've hopped out and hopped back in. Um, you know, it's, it's game is taking up almost no resources. Uh, we have about 80% of the CPUs available, 15 gigabytes of RAM. Um, I don't know if it just doesn't use any type of. I mean, it doesn't use hardware acceleration. It shouldn't be sounding like this. Or maybe maybe this is maybe this is what the game's supposed to be like. Maybe this is a 100% authentic experience. I don't know. All right, well, let's sort of skip the story mode and I guess go into this uh, battle mode. Oh, we're trying to go left, left, go left, right. Okay, so I'm, I'm playing Simon with the computer, and I guess eventually, just because the score counts up, it's just a question of when I when I when I finally screw up and lose. Um, there you go, the old left. Right, left, right. Let's see what happens with this one. Just sort of wait here. Oh no! Wait, that no multiple directions? Left, right. Oh no! It looks like she went all three directions at at once. Uh, no, I I would uh I would not want to. Um, so kind of a, a short video. Uh. <laughs> So this, doing a little bit of background on that, a lot of these games on Egg Station were uh, kind of like tiny demo games or just concept games or just just little game bites that were usually included in uh, Disk Station, which was a, a magazine that Compile put out. Um, I, this isn't one. This this is a game that was sold. Um, granted, from 1994, it was a different age. You know, you're talking 23 years ago at this time. 
But Beat Mania, uh, I believe, came out in 1996. Dance Dance Revolution, you know, probably 97, 98, right around there. So music and rhythm games, um, you know, they weren't too far away at this time. Um, yeah. And it's a shame because uh, Compiled did actually a, a very good dance game, uh, Poyo Poyo Da, uh, on the Dreamcast. W was, a, was a lot of fun. Uh, a little weird, but a good time. Um, so, for about $5, I got a uh, version of Simon. I, I could probably bootleg this and find the ROM somewhere. Um, I own it legitimately now, so I can at least hang my hat on that. I, I legitimately own Broadway Legend Elena. Um, but I was under the impression it was going to be, you know, at least some translation. Um, manual translated, but <laughs> considering it's, you know, left, right, left, right, up, down, uh, didn't really need it. So... That there is uh, Broadway legend Elena. Money well spent. So I did actually have to find out for my own personal knowledge. Uh, is there a problem with the emulation or is it just something that you can expect with these kinds of games? Um, I did find a PC-98 emulator. And the emulators can be really finicky and you have to really customize it to get the games to run properly. It's not the best or most well-supported emulators. But you can see in the top right corner I have Project Egg, and in the uh, rest of the part of the screen I have a, a standard PC-98 emulator. Uh, and the Project Egg is absolutely falling uh, behind. It is out of sync. Uh, these are recorded on the same computer at the same time. There's just something about that particular emulation that is not up to snuff compared to what maybe you can get with a less than legitimate emulation.